Hey people, it's a Pilgrim and welcome to the Wandering Temple. I was editing this video and I'd already named the build when I watched Sven P's new Titan build and he's called that the Wandering Castle, so <laughs> it's just one of them things. Um, go and check out his build though, he used a mix of the original Castle Keeps and Forts and the new remastered version. Uh, this build is, I'd say, loosely based on uh, Aztec temples and medieval castle architecture. My original Desert Trader build is probably one of my best videos. I had a plan to build like a whole nomadic tribe and have a convoy of platform builds all, all together. But I lost that build when S Plus updated one day and it didn't load in with me other mods so it sort of just wiped the build out really. Yeah, so this is the start of like a new nomadic tribe. Uh, if you guys got any ideas for like a dedicated platform you'd like to see, say one for crafting or something or a battle, uh, just leave me a comment and I'll, we'll add them to the tribe as we go. Right, we'll go and check this place out. Um, the sort of idea for this, I had like a lot of archways and open spaces, just because I thought if it's travelling through the desert it'd be better if there's like a nice cool breeze blowing through the place. Uh, it gives you plenty of opportunities to sort of use it as a fort as well, you know, to fire out the side with arrows and things. What I'll do, if you want to jump straight to the build, I'll put some timestamps in the comments. Yeah, so the, the place is like a, is really dedicated to the temple, but I have plenty of room on these side sections, so I've done this as like a crafting area. Put plenty of storage in, in them towers. Those towers um, higher up have got arrow loops in them so you can use them like defensively as well. Like this whole level here. So I was thinking more of a sort of medieval fighting with, you know, primitive weapons. And there's plenty of like balconies and things. I always stick balconies out on the builds. Just stops the walls looking too flat and this is the main temple area i didn't know what to do the temple to so it's crystals i don't know the praying to crystals for some reason uh what it, what they are they're from eco mods and i use these small lights there were cyan lights blue ones and red ones and i just put a couple down on each of these sort of pedestals and then put the crystal on top and it just makes them glow and this is the front of the titan where you drive it from Left this all open as well, so you've got a good view of what you're doing. Uh, just behind us is two round doorways. Those sort of arch sections of um, sort of wall make like a circle. If you put them all together, but you can't actually step through it. Um, so I've built like a little step just over the threshold. They look pretty good. And the interior of the temple here, I just built these platforms and stairs and stuff out of wood. Just to give a bit of contrast to all the stone another big balcony here just above where you, you're driving from place come and just relax yeah uh, all the, the decors from eco mods again i think i've already mentioned that so just like the books on the tables and the candles crystals some bits and pieces those um torches with the fire you know the skull with the fire coming out they always look really good yeah i really like how these new arch pieces look so i just built these like four massive openings here as well just to keep in line with I call the archways and, and different sections throughout the build just gives a different style to it but like you know it, it reminds me of um, like the Muslim palaces that were built in Spain I think it's the Alhambra Alhambra I might not pronounce that right but they had like massive fortifications right the way around them the big towers with the arrow loops and everything um, watchtowers and stuff but like inside the palace it was all massive big archways and balconies everywhere and gardens just suppose you got the heat down there so you want to keep everything open and cool inside but you still need the defenses but i just love that style of, of architecture so yeah i think this place took out influences from all over all over the world really <laughs> It's quite a tall build this, you've got some like really good views over the different biomes you're in, you know, when you're travelling around. And this desert biome on Ragnarok is just huge, feels like it's about the same size as um, Scorched Earth. But that's, that's something I'd like to see that actually. You know like, a map about the size of Ragnarok, but with, you know, just one biome. 
like the forest or jungle, redwood, you know, or even a desert one. I think that idea would be really good for, say, an unofficial clustered server. So you've got like your desert arc and your forest arc and your, you could have like an entire water world arc that's got a few small islands. And then like each area's got the different resources. So it really sort of forced people to go on the other maps to get what they want and then they could set up the home base depending on sort of what area they want to live in. I think it would be quite cool for a clustered PvP server that as well. And sort of hoard one set of resources and make the others pay for it or come and fight you for it, it'd be cool. But yeah, I think having like a single biome on one massive arc could just give it a proper epic feeling when you go in there. And if you're sticking to that nomad idea, you could even keep it as uh, only small flyers. You know, just for scouting and some light resource gathering. So, um, we've just gone through uh, a section where I had the ballistas on. More of a defensive side to it. And this is sort of like your living area. There's a couple of beds up there. You see the Morella traps and some of the other creatures are brought along for water and defence. And this is just another sort of storage area, maybe a little crafting area or something. So you didn't have to go over the top and like build a big barracks and sort of try and fit everything on this one platform. Because there's going to be like other uh, platforms in the, in the convoy that are going to be sort of dedicated to different things. And there we have it, Wandering Temple. I kept the decor to a minimum, so you're not getting any sort of game breaking FPS drops or anything while you're playing um, and you, you can walk around quite happily without any major lag or anything like that yeah I'm very happy with this one it looks really cool it's a good start I think all right we'll get on to the build catch you later guys
Okay, there we have it. That's the main structure finished. I'll show you what he looks like stomping around a bit. It's, been, it's pretty good actually. There's no real FPS drops or lag or anything. I don't know if they made some bigger improvements like uh, with the actual game or not. But it's running a lot better than it used to. Yeah, it, it needs a bit of light in this build. So if you were going to do something this big, I'd definitely put some electric generators in there. Get it lit up properly. And there's plenty of lighting options with eco mods. No, depending on what mod your server is running. Yes, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. It's almost obligatory that, isn't it? Like every YouTuber says something. But you just got to try and say it without sounding too cheesy, I like you begging. But I've really appreciated it this year, it's been cool. Man. I started off in January with like a thousand subs, and it's October now, and I've got 8,840, so I'm getting really close to that 10k for this year. So I really appreciate that, thanks you know, for everyone that's been subbing and commenting and everything, it's really cool. Now, it is a lot of fun watching the channel grow. Just got a little obsessed watching them numbers go up. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for watching anyway. Catch you later.